to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. I'm about to head to the gym. Today's video is going to be all about what I kind of touched on on Monday, fat loss and the new journey that I will be taking. There's me in the mirror. Hello. Uh, that's not a mirror. That's a door. But I'll show a bit of my leg day. It's my least favorite workout of the day, but I think filming a bit of it is going to help me push a little bit harder. Woke up pretty tired. So I've got a hefty scoop of pre-workout in my water bottle, but let's get to the gym. Let's get after this workout and let's talk about fat loss. All right, we're clap. We're back from the gym. Um, I wanted to just kind of go over the game plan that I have for the next eight weeks, possibly longer. We will see. But really, what I'm starting out with, my goal is fat loss. So up until this point, I have been fortunate enough to be able to keep my calories high, cardio low. And I've been consistently losing body fat, but I've been focused more on gaining strength and gaining some muscle back after having my daughter. Um, so I haven't really cut calories. I haven't done a ton of consistent cardio. So I haven't focused solely on fat loss like I will be doing for the next eight weeks, if that makes sense. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below, as always. I'll be doing kind of weekly updates throughout this process to show you progress what I'm eating, what workouts look like, um, the struggles, because I know that struggles are going to come up. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be tough at times. And I mean, just this journey overall entirely, my whole fitness journey, it's not always exciting. It's not always fun. And I want to share all aspects of that journey because I think it helps other people to see people aren't always motivated. Like we cannot wait for motivation. You have to form those daily habits. And that's whenever you see the people that are killing it and seem like they're always motivated. It's not motivation, it's just habit and discipline and just forming those habits over time. Um, so I'll be showing good and the bad struggles. If you have any questions, like I said, I'll be answering them throughout the weeks. Um, I've got a little whiteboard. This might be backwards for y'all. I don't know, but I'll just read it. So essentially, I'm going to be keeping track of my weekly weight. I'll probably weigh daily and log it in the, uh, the app that I use to track my food, just because as long as the scale isn't an issue for you, it's a really good reference point to go from because it's not gonna be linear. I might weigh myself this morning and I'm at a certain weight and then I might weigh myself tomorrow and I've had a ton of sodium, I've been stressed, I'm extra sore, and my weight might go up. But overall, week to week, we'll see a trend of an average going down, usually. Usually, there's always outliers, so don't take anything that I say as gospel. I'm gonna preface all of these videos with this is my journey, this is my approach, this is what I'm doing, but as far as what's going to work for you will be different because everybody, everybody <laughs> is different, um, so we all require different calories, we all have different weights, we all have different body fat percentages, so I just wanna throw that in there, but I think that sharing my journey can be helpful to encourage others to continue forward on their own. Um, so I'm gonna track my weight here. 
And then we've got my workout schedule. So Monday is chest, Tuesday's legs, Wednesday's shoulders, Thursday's back, Friday is arms and abs, or an optional rest day. Saturday, shoulders and legs, and Sunday is a full on rest day. So I'm gonna have at least one rest day a week. This will be something that um, I'll take week to week. Just kind of depends on how I feel, how my recovery is. Um, because there are so there is so much activity, sleep is a major priority. So I've got on here a minimum of seven hours a night. If I don't hit that seven hours, I'm going to have to add in at least one more rest day. Recovery is crucial for muscle recovery. It's crucial for overall fat loss and metabolism, immune health and mental health. Um, so sleep and recovery are absolutely non-negotiable. So. I know that six workout days might seem like a lot, but this is also something I have been doing for years and years and years. So I have worked up to a higher intensity. My calories reflect that. My rest and my sleep and my recovery reflect that as well. So don't jump into your own journey working out six days a week. I do not recommend that. Um, cardio, I'll be doing two hit sprint sessions. That's high intensity interval training. That's essentially a short, really intense burst of cardio. I do these on the treadmill. I crank up the um, incline and then I sprint for about 20 seconds. Long recovery. So I'll do that four times through and I'm doing that twice a week. So I did my first sprint yesterday and I think I I think I sprinted at a faster pace than I than I ever have, at least in, in many, many years. So that was pretty neat. Two of those sessions a week and then two 20 minute sessions on the elliptical. I can do that in the gym. We've got an elliptical here in the storage room. Super basic. There's no need for me to start out with a ton of cardio because right now, on average, I'm getting maybe one session a week. Starting out with four sessions a week is, is a good increase, but it should be enough to kind of move fat loss along without being so much that I don't want to have to be doing hours of cardio a day by the end of this because essentially where we're starting now, cardio is only going to increase and calories are only going to decrease. So wherever the starting point is, like it's only gonna get more intense. So I try to start out a bit moderately rather than going from zero to 100 miles per hour like a lot of people do, because that's what causes burnout. My macros, my macronutrients will be here. Uh, I've got 190 grams of protein, 250 carbs, and 60 grams of fat. So the two macronutrient areas that I uh, decreased from, I think I was eating 275 carbs and 70 fat, so just a slight drop in both of those. Protein is probably gonna stay the same throughout the whole cutting process, throughout the whole prep process. I do not wanna lower that because protein is, one, it's the most satiating macronutrient, it's delicious, uh, but it contributes most to muscle recovery and muscle protein synthesis. We want to preserve as much muscle mass as possible. So when you're going through a deficit, losing muscle mass is probable probably gonna happen. Our body burns fat for fuel, but it can also burn muscle tissue if it's not getting enough calories overall. And being in a caloric deficit, you're giving your body less calories than it needs. So, my goal to keep protein high is to help preserve as much muscle tissue as possible. That's the, uh, that's the goal there. But that's it. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I mean, it's, it's not too far from what I'm already doing. It's just picking up the intensity a little bit in terms of a very consistent workout schedule. Um, I will not miss days unless, of course, I need an extra recovery day or if I don't feel good. You know, I've been, I've been consistent overall, but we're just making sure to stay on track and stay on the program. Um, calories are a bit lower, cardio is a bit higher, so it's nothing fancy, but that's probably all we're going to need. So I'm gonna do this for a week. I started yesterday and see where I'm at next Monday or Tuesday. And if nothing has happened, I highly doubt this, but if nothing has happened um, in terms of, I need to take my measurements too. So I'm gonna do circumference measurements with a tape measure, bicep, chest, waist, hips, thighs, calves. Those are the main points that I wanna focus on. If measurements don't change, weight doesn't change, I don't feel any different, then we'll probably have to change calories and or cardio. But I really don't see that being an issue because this is a good change from what I have been doing and I'm excited. So that's that's kind of the, the broad process. Like I said, the goal is eight weeks. I'm gonna see where I'm at in eight weeks. That should land us 
right around, right around, oh my gosh, the start of Christmas. So I'm gonna be a little lean bean for Christmas. But the goal, the broad goal here is to um, see what I can do for the next eight weeks through dieting. And then more or less maintain where that is over Christmas so that I can have a little bit of um, flexibility for Christmas. I'm not gonna be on a crazy diet through the holidays. That's not fun. And then at the start of 2022, which is weird to say, I'm gonna start looking at show dates, possibly. So that's also something I haven't fully committed to a show, but I'm gonna do something. So it could be a show, it could be like an awesome fitness photo shoot where I like go all out, tan, makeup, outfits, all of that. So we'll see, we'll kind of see, we're, we're playing it by ear, but I'm committing to something the next eight weeks for sure. And then after Christmas, we'll start looking at possible show dates. So that's exciting. But if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm excited to bring you along the process. Like I said, this my goal with sharing this journey is just to be honest about the ups and the downs of your fitness journey. And although what I might be doing, you know, possibly competing is going to be on the extreme end of the spectrum, but I have found so much inspiration from people that push themselves to essentially like their ultimate uh, capacity. So hopefully me sharing my journey and my knowledge and my experience can help encourage somebody else. You don't have to compete. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that many, many times, you don't have to compete to take your fitness journey to the next level. But for some people, for myself, it's just, it's just how I, it's just something I enjoy. It really is a passion of mine. Um, and so I'm, I'm curious to see how this goes. The last two preps that I went for before I got pregnant with Eva, I had to quit. So we'll see. Um, but I was also vegan at the time. So I'm curious to see how this might differ. Um, macros, obviously I can get away with easier protein sources. That's, that's the main difference that I'm already finding. But I'm gonna see how overall, you know, whenever I was, I was vegan and I was cutting, like my hunger got really, really, really intense really quickly. And so I started struggling with food again and that's whenever I quit because I knew it wouldn't be good for my mental health. So that's, I'm gonna be very careful with that and then I'll be very honest with the process. And if I'm struggling, I'll let you know. But that's it. Hopefully you're excited about this process. Um, if there's any specific types of videos that you wanna see like full day of eating, um, meal prep, workouts, let me know because this channel is going to document all of it. And we'll still have our weekly vlogs and, and you know, Matt and Eva content, of course. Um, but I'm excited to get back into the fitness content because this is really, really my passion and where I thrive. So thank you for watching. Make sure and hit that thumbs up. If you are excited, if you enjoyed these videos, subscribe if you're new to follow along. And just a little, uh, a little heads up, we've got a really cool partnership coming up and I can't wait to talk to y'all about it, but I need to finish the fine details um, with the company first. But I'm really, really excited about this one and I think y'all will enjoy it too. That's it, okay. See you in the next video, see you on Friday. Have fun out there and bye.